So join me as we take off exploring Monticello. people who lived on this plantation probably didn't have a pocket watch. It existed, but it's pretty expensive. Thomas Jefferson. It's sitting there, we call that potential energy. Mm. And as it's moving, it's kinetic. So right. this kind of applies something hopefully the kids at home or, or at school are learning about. And so Jefferson asks Lewis and Clark to go out to bring back animal specimens, um, fossils. Related to my cell phone. American items from the Lewis and Clark expedition or antlers from North American mammals. This is the last poll, so make sure you vote. Hello and welcome to Gulf Detectives. I'm Alan Seals, your host. We are coming to you live from Dauphin Island Sea Lab. Time for a vocab moment. Ecosystem, the living organisms and the non-living elements of a habitat interacting as a system. Food web, a picture or understanding of who eats who in a given ecological community. Apex predator, the predator at the top of the food web. In the estuary, and remember, estuaries are where freshwater and saltwater mix. One of the things that's really important to restoration is knowing. Get ready to vote. It's quiz time. An animal that obtains its food by creating a flow of water and capturing food particles or small organisms from the water is called a filter feeder, herbivore, surgeon fish, deposit feeder. Here is how it works. Find your answer and send a text with the keyword to the number 22333. Or you can send a tweet with the keyword to at poll. Or vote online at pollev.com slash IQTV. Vote now. We give them perfect conditions and we keep all their babies, their larvae, we mm -hmm. keep them in tanks. And then we can raise them um, through that first stage and then we can produce oyster seed. All right, we've got a question here. Okay. The question is, what part of the oyster industry are you focusing on now in Alabama and Mississippi, and why is it important? That comes from Bruton, Alabama. That, that's a great question. Look, it, we've Well, we solved our riddle, but we learned a lot of other things too, about oyster reefs and sharks and the benthic zone. Even Alex begrudgingly learned a thing or two, and we hope you did as well. This is Ashley and the Gulf Detectives are signing off. Another case successfully solved. So long from the Dolphin Island Sea Lab, everyone.